Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's try one more example of this type where the denominator is not simply an x plus 1 or an x minus 3 or something like that. It's x squared plus x. Notice there's a missing term, so let's add the missing term plus 0. Now we're ready to try synthetic division. First we write down all the coefficients of the numerator. So notice we have a lot of them uh, because we have x to the fifth power. So we have 4, 8, 1, negative 1, 3, and 1. We draw a line this way, we draw a line this way, and then over here we need the two numbers over here, but the sign changed the coefficient, so this becomes a negative 1 and 0, negative 1 and 0, and we're taking two numbers at a time. So first we bring down the 4, the negative 1 times 4 is negative 4, 0 times 4 is 0, add the two numbers together we get 4 and 1, and then we drop down the other numbers, minus 1, 3, and 1, and draw another line, and now we drop, drop down the next number, which is a 4 again. We do the same thing, negative 1 times 4, that would be negative 4, and 0 times 4 is 0, add the numbers together, minus 3, minus 1, drop those numbers down, 3 and 1, and again we, drop, we draw a line, and we drop down the next number, negative 3. We do the same thing again, negative 1 times negative 3 is a positive 3, 0 times 3 is 0, Add the numbers together, we get a 2 and a 3, and we drop down the next number 1, and we draw another line, and now we drop the next number again. Notice we always keep that first number, we drop the next number, which is a 2, and now we go ahead, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, 0 times 2 is 0, add the numbers together, we get a 1 and a 1, and these are then, of course, the remainder. Okay, now we drop all the numbers down to the same line, we have a 4, a 4, a negative 3, and a 2. Now, what does that mean? Well, when we go to the numerator, we know that this represents an x to the fifth, x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x to the first, and x to the zero. And remember that we took x to the fifth in the numerator and divided by x squared in the denominator, which means the first term in the answer should be an x cubed. So this should be an x cubed, an x squared, an x to the first, an x to the zero with a remainder. And so the answer then looks like 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 3x plus 2 with a remainder of 1x or simply x plus 1 over x squared plus x. And this then becomes the solution, x right there, of our division. So when we take that numerator divided by x squared plus x, we get the following result. And again, Sinten division makes it fairly straightforward. You just have to remember the rules, and this is how it's done. Once you see the pattern, it's not so bad. Yeah, but we don't work at, use this method all the time, you forget. That is true. If, if you go a long time without having done this, you might forget how to do it. And then you end up doing longhand division. That's what I always do. It's safest for me. You can always fall back to longhand division if that's what you need to do. Yep. Yeah. But it works like a charm. It's great. Yeah, it might take a while to get it back. But at least you can go look at the videos to see how it's done.